Hello everyone, my name is April. I'm Adrian's cousin and maid of honor. I'm honored to be here today to toast these two incredible people who have found each other and they are starting a new journey together in life. Adrian and I grew up in a big, crazy Mexican family. We were, we were and are like best friends, even still to this day. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for her as long as it's reasonable. I wanted to tell you guys a story about Adrian so you understand how loving, loyal, and funny this girl is. <laughs> there was a girl named Thea who was a cousin to the neighbor kids who lived next door to Adrian, and she was always showing off her karate moves. One day, Adrian and I got into a verbal disagreement with this girl, and she threatened to kick our asses in front of the group of our friends. Well, Adrienne stepped up into a karate stance and began her silly, goofy self and put her hands up and said with all seriousness, Oh yeah? Well, I know tofu and I'm not scared of you. We all started laughing. Unbeknownst to her, Adrienne had made Thea realize how silly the situation was and we all left laughing. <laughs> she knows tofu. This is one of Adrienne's best qualities. She has always been resourceful and had a plan. Even as crazy it might be, it always seems to work out. Zach, you have a dedicated wife that cherishes family and now you. You are now one of the most important persons in her life. She will always defend, protect, fight for, and love you. It didn't take me long to find out she was madly in love with you, but it doesn't surprise me because you are kind, charismatic, and a patient person. Plus, you're the right kind of crazy for our family. I know you make her a happier person and love her for who she is, stubbornness and all. You guys complement each other perfectly and it's easy to see how passionate you guys are about each other. So everyone, please raise your glasses and join me in a toast. I can't do this at the same time. Love is a force that is most impressive more than any other because it can't be seen or touched, but it can transform a person's soul in a single moment. I love you guys. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Jim. Uh, I'm Zach's best man, and I've had the absolute uh, pleasure of knowing Zach since 2017. Uh, we met during a pretty defining time in our lives, uh, residency. Specifically, I was an intern, and Zach was my senior, a uh, second year resident. Um, now, um, for those who haven't experienced or you know know what it's like to be in residency, you can kind of think of it as um, being in a marathon and having bricks randomly thrown at you. Um, it can be pretty terrifying. Um, so you can imagine my relief when I found out that Zach, this guy right here, was in charge of some of us poor residents. And let me tell you, uh, he might look tough, intimidating on the outside, um, but he turned out to be the absolute best person you could work with. He was great at teaching, incredibly efficient in seeing patients, and most importantly, he made me feel comfortable during intern year. <laughs> uh, I was always excited to see our shifts line up on the schedule because it felt like the universe was throwing me a bone at the time. Zach was a guy who could see a million patients before lunch and still have time to teach you something new. He made all those crazy hours more bearable. Uh, he wasn't just efficient, but he generally cared about everyone around him. And that's when I knew that Zach and I would be friends for a long time. Uh, through those long hours and even longer shifts, I got to know Zach pretty well. Uh, he is genuinely caring, intelligent, and a very passionate guy. So when he told me he needed to step out to see someone and then I had to cover the floors by myself and take all the phone calls, I thought to myself, it must be somebody special. Sorry, Dr. Lloyd, you're just now figuring this out. <laughs> uh, and then the day came where I found who that someone was, and it was Adrian. We had dinner together, along with my now wife, um, and from that moment that I met Adrian, I noticed that she was always smiling and very soft-spoken. But I thought to myself, this is exactly what kind of girl that Zach needs. She was everything you'd hope for your friend to have in a partner. Caring, reliable, someone who can calm Zach's sometimes stormy, head-forward approach to life. 
Uh, and that balance between Zach and Adrian is just something special. Zach speaks his, speaks his mind, often charging into situations first, while Adrian has this magical way of sometimes being his voice of reason. Uh, it's like watching a dance where both partners perfectly understand each other's steps, always catching each other seamlessly. Zach, Adrian, I've seen a lot of things over the years and certainly we've all been through a lot of things together. And seeing the two of you here today in sync and ready to tackle the world together fills me with endless joy and pride. So as we raise our glasses, I want to wish you both a love that is forgiving, one that perseveres, guards, and celebrates every moment you spend together. A love that is long lasting and eternal because if anyone deserves that kind of love, it's you too. So here's to Zach and Adrian. May your journey ahead be as incredible as the, as the moments brought you here today. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Yep. Hello, everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm Laura. I am Adrian's sister. And I have a little speech here. Um, so about six months ago, I sat bored waiting in my truck. And to pass time, I passively read my horoscope. And I started laughing to myself like a crazy person in my truck by myself. And with today in mind, I screenshot that horoscope. It said, though seemingly insufferable, a latest to frequent any one of your life's inner circles is here to stay. With some refrain of your forthright tendencies, you'll soon pleasantly welcome this addition with ease. I laughed, not because you're insufferable, but because earlier that week, my big sister was proposed to. And she was proposed to by someone who loves her as much as we do, as much as I do. And he did it in front of my entire family, our entire family. And that is our inner circle. That laugh soon turned to tears of joy and happiness because Adrian, you deserve that love and Zach, you deserve that love too. And if you really are insufferable, then you fit right in. <laughs> so welcome to the family, Newbro. Congratulations, you guys, I love you guys. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Salud. 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 Salud, Mason. Laura. <laughs> My bad. No, no worries. <laughs> Perfect. So for those of you guys that don't know me, I'm Ray Williams. I went to Sac State or college with Zach. We date back 20 plus years. So I met Zach when he was a, a wee young kid. So I think it was our first class we had together was chemistry back in 20, oh, excuse me, 20, excuse me, 2001. So uh, anyways, we were sitting in class and I was about midway to the back side of the class and I realized there was this young, intense, kid with a baby face in front of the class, always asking all the great questions, acing all of his tests. And he would sit there with a nervous energy. And we talked about this last night, Adrian, about how intense Zach is, concentrated and focused on something. He would sit there and he'll shake his leg and he'll fidget his pen and so forth. And I was like, damn, I, I gotta know this kid, right? Because he's acing all of his classes. So I befriended Zach and we started studying together. And we spent a lot of time hanging out, studying, uh, and, and you know, spending some time together. And over the course of time, we really developed a good friendship. 
<clears throat> and with that, you know, he started inviting me down to his house and Janice and the late Wayne opened me up to their home and we spent a lot of good weekends hanging out together, creating good memories and having, you know, good conversations. And Zach and I come from two different parts of the world, little town guy versus big city guy like myself. And, uh, you know, we got to really know each other and, you know, understand our, our uniquenesses and our light, or excuse me, our things that we had in common, things that we didn't have in common, whether or not it was, you know, worldviews or, you know, science or politics, you name it. We had some really good conversations, especially with your dad. And um, <clears throat> your mom also cooked some pretty damn good meals, too. So. <laughs> Uh, a lot of good memories, you know, sent around those experiences we had in college. And so with that, over time, we really develop a good friendship. That's kind of stand the test of time, whether or not we've had distance and lapses in times and communication. But we've always come back to being able to, you know, get together and talk and chat and, and, and you know, really, you know, develop our bond that we had in, with, with each other. So, um, you know, with that said, you know, you guys, let me make sure I'm not missing anything here. Um, <clears throat> that, um, you know, you know, with that said, you know, kind of going into your guys' relationship that you guys have together. We haven't had a chance to really meet you outside of, you know, our FaceTime conversations, Adrian. But the one thing that I do know is that, you know, Zach has found somebody in the short amount of time that we've had to spend some time with you and chat with you has found somebody really special and I know that we are happy you know my wife and I are happy that you found somebody to you know be a good partner to you to be there for you to take care of you you know not only in a, a mental and emotional and a spiritual realm but you know be a life partner with you and so we are extremely happy you know that you found someone that you know you care so deeply about and you have made this commitment to create a covenant with somebody and work through you know the good things and your differences right and i think the the thing that you know we are able to relate to is that you know with our differences we were able to create a strong relationship over time and with you know going into a relationship with a partner that is the thing that you need to work on continuously is working through the things that you have in common but also you know ensuring that you embrace and take on the challenges of your differences and approach your relationship with you know patience and understanding and uh you know looking to weather those storms and i think your priest made a really good you know statement today that you know you really have to work hard at your relationship and so um with that appreciate you you know for having us here to celebrate with you guys and you know, we're beyond ecstatic you know that you guys have created this you know covenant together and if um, we can pass, you know, some words of advice, not necessarily wisdom, but that is to be patient, to cherish the moments that you guys have together, continue to date each other and put that time and energy into developing your relationship and then uh, embrace those differences compassionately, work through them with understanding to know that life will be to get better together and that you know you know we wish you nothing but you know happiness health and prosperity so cheers to you guys um and your new you know marriage and we wish you guys nothing the best thanks Ray. yep Appreciate it, man. cheers, cheers. So I had something written for everybody, but I don't know where my phone is, and that's okay. I'm just going to tell you all, I want to give you all, I mean, I want to thank you all for coming today, and quiero dar las gracias por haber venido a acompañarnos a todos. Um, I'm very happy that I have all of my family here today, and all of our friends, all of our loved ones. We feel very blessed, and Yeah, I, you know, I'm thank just, you. Uh, thank you. better speaker. <laughs> no, I, I was just looking around, you know, and I have been trying to take it in all, all day. And, um, you know, I just, um, I feel so blessed, you know, um, to have my wife. Yeah. And 
I feel uh, so blessed to have so many just, just such amazing family and uh, friends. Um, I'm just surprised at the turnout and all of you here, you know, I mean, we love you. We're, we're so grateful to have you share this moment with us. Um, you know, each and every one of you hold a very, 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 very special place in our heart. And, yeah. you know, that's why we, um, that's why we sent our invitations out to you because we, uh, you know, we think about you, all of you. We really do every day. And uh, we just, uh, again, we, we love you and, and thank yes. you for being here thank with us. Thank you yeah. so much. Mm -hmm. yes.